What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and I mean that, I really hope everyone in my audience is doing great, I'm doing great, thanks for asking, I hope you did, uh, and uh, man, I've been gone for, uh, <laughs> not for months, I think, I haven't kept track, I'm so sorry about that, I have a lot of people coming to my stream like, why aren't you uploading to YouTube? So sorry about that. I didn't do it on purpose. I've just been um, kind of hooked on uh, Dead by Daylight lately. Uh, you know, with Tekken, it's a bit like uh, Tekken 8 announcement waiting room. We haven't heard anything from the developers. I don't know how long it's been now. I thought we were going to hear something by uh, the fall, you know, o October, November. But nothing, and now Street Fighter 6 has been announced, I'm guessing in a few months. Uh, I think uh, Bandai Namco were waiting for Capcom to uh, engage, and now uh, Tekken 8 is going to be revealed. But uh, yeah, you know, nothing's been happening with Tekken, it's been a bit stale. I, I still, you know, obviously it's my number one game, it's been so since 1995, for God's sakes, and... I've never found a game to be as engaging as Tekken, but truth be told, something just happened and clicked when I played Dead by Daylight. And I had to investigate that uh, as a detective, you know, keep playing it. And turns out, man, I just love Dead by Daylight. And it was kind of meant to be, you know, I love horror movies. It's my favorite movie genre. I absolutely love Pyramid Head, Michael Myers, um, Leverface, you know, and suddenly I'm playing a game where I, I can play as them, run around and kill people. It's, uh, it was a little bit, you know, meant to be uh, with me and I absolutely love the game and I took this month, you know, to play it and see if, um, you know, well, well, I dropped this now within a week, and turns out, you know, I've been playing it since since the middle of December, I think. So what? That's that's two months, uh, a little bit more than two months, and uh, man, I still love the game. <laughs> so uh, it's probably going to stay with me. So uh, looks like I might actually try to uh, turn this YouTube channel. <coughs> Again, this is not 100% guaranteed. I don't know how, how I will feel about Dead by Daylight in a month. But I am probably going to try and get into Dead by Daylight uh, YouTube... Um, become a YouTube uh, content creator for Dead by Daylight. So I'm not gonna drop Tekken. I'm probably gonna try and, you know, have Tekken as my main game. But have some Dead by Daylight stuff here as well. And I choose to believe... But the majority, not everyone, by God, not everyone, but I choose to believe that the majority of my um, audience here on YouTube is open to me trying other games and will not immediately dismiss me because I'm playing something other than Tekken. Uh, but really looking forward to Tekken 8, obviously. I hope it has an amazing reveal trailer. Tekken 7 is probably pound for pound the most successful Tekken game to date. So my hopes for Tekken 8 are, are high. You know, I, I really hope they knock it out of a park. And same goes to Capcom with... Um, great combo. Uh, with uh, Street Fighter 6. I think it's just... It's for the better of the FGC. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Uh, better for the FGC that we have a lot of great fighters out there and you know you have Project L coming soon as well Well soon is probably one or two years away, but that's also very very exciting But so again, I love Dead by Daylight. I love Tekken. Dead by Daylight is probably going to stay with me on my stream And I'll probably start making uh, YouTube uh, content for Dead by Daylight, but again, it's not a guarantee. Maybe in a month's time I drop the game. I just don't know, but uh, I hope a majority of you are open to me making a transition from a Tekken-only channel to a Tekken slash DBD channel. Uh, because that's what I feel in my heart right now, that's what I want to do, and... Uh, that's something I've learned about being uh, someone who does creative co stuff, you know, or a YouTube content creator, call it what you will. You better follow where your soul guides you. You can't simply do stuff because you think it's going to be, oh, that's going to be 
give me the most financial success or this Tekken will give me security or you know well, what I'm known for or whatever I've been doing. Uh, right now this is what I feel like I want to do and I feel like in the end I want to, I should have fun. If I don't feel the passion it's like why am I doing it? Uh, and again my passion for Tekken is not gone, it's still there, I don't think it will ever go away. Uh, I can't see myself ever dropping Tekken, it's just such a, what a beautiful game it is. It's like I said on my stream um, yesterday, and I've said it a couple of times, it's like, it's so great to see Street Fighter 6. Such a great fighter, you know, uh, well, arguably the greatest fighter of all time, the biggest name in fighting games. Uh, it must never go away, but it's, an, it's interesting to think about that, uh, with Street Fighter, you have a Ryu and Ken archetype, the Shoto, Shoto, sh Shoto, and how you can see that archetype in a billion other 2D fighters, right? 2D is the most common fighter. Uh, and in Guilty Gear, you have Sol, who has a, he has the DP, Dragon Punch, Shoryuken, and he has the Fireball. You know, how many games have you seen the Shoto archetype in? But that's what I love about Tekken, the Mishima. Kazuya, Devil Jin, Heiachi, you can only find that in Tekken. Isn't that amazing to think about? How unique the Mishima is. With the electric, the movement, the wave dash, the whiff punish, the 50-50. What they do, you can only find it in Tekken. I find that so beautiful. And there are many things you can say about Tekken here, like the 50 characters with 100 to 200 moves, you know, and how that also is the identity of Tekken, the constant knowledge checks, you know, and how almost learning a matchup in that game, it's not akin to learning a language, but it's not far off taking a university course. Um, so, yeah, these beautiful games and how I hope they all succeed because God knows they also need the competition. Uh, so uh, yeah, I touched upon DBD here and how that's going to stay. I hope that's all right with you guys. Again, I, I choose to believe that the majority of you just want to see me have fun. Uh, and maybe uh, hearing me talk about DBD might uh, make you uh, wanna try the game. It really is a great game. Maybe not for everyone, but that's the same with Tekken. It's just not for everyone. And I've mentioned on a couple of videos prior that I will uh, do movie uh, reviews. God, I don't know for how long I've been trying to pronounce the English word review. Is that correct or is it review? I'm going to do a review. 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 I don't know. Uh, man, that's a troublesome word for me, I have to say. But uh, I tried many times now and let me know in the YouTube comment section which one was correct. Was it one, two, three or four? I think I did it four times. My Alzheimer's is getting worse. Uh, I'm 36, you know, I'm very old. Um, but so uh, movie reviews is something I'm going to do more now. Uh, you'll see me within the uh, coming days. I'll post uh, my thoughts on Netflix's uh, reboot. Well, it's not really a reboot. We're doing the Halloween thing where it's a... Uh, a decades later, a direct continuation of the first movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, they're really trying to do the Halloween cash grab here. Uh, I'll post my thoughts on that and I'll talk about the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. Amazing movie. Um, and I'll be talking about many other movies. Uh, it's such a huge interest of mine, hobby, movie, series. I don't know why I haven't posted content on that before. I think I've been too cemented in this idea that Tekken is what this channel should be. But I think I'll be happier if I include more of my interests into the channel. And again, I hope you're all okay with that. Um, God, is there anything else I want to mention it's in this short little return speech? Uh, again, I'm sorry, the YouTube. Uh, I did upload a shit ton of content there. Uh, last time I uploaded, I think, was it 30 days straight of just content every day? Uh, there was a lot of content there. Uh, and then I disappeared for a month. But again, I've been checking out DBD and seeing, am I, is this gonna stay? Looks like it's gonna stay. 
So yeah, the YouTube is going to uh, commence yet again now. I'm going to upload a lot of quality content for Tekken. I hope you're interested in that. And you will also see Dead by Daylight content, hopefully quality content. Uh, I will be doing, you know how I like making, ga g g I almost said gades. Gades for Tekken. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, think about that for a moment. Guides! Guides! Was what I was trying to say. Uh, you know, I like making guides for Tekken. I do want to make guides for Dead by Daylight as well. But right now, I'm 400 hours in. I'm still... I think I'm intermediate. So I'm going to wait until I get really good at the game. I have a really solid grasp of the game. I'll start making guides for it. But man, how interesting that game is and how I try to keep my very positive mental attitude, which I feel I have uh, in Tekken and DBD, and trying to stay humble with Dead by Daylight because I just noticed that after I played it for a month, I was starting to fall into trenches where I was like getting, uh, getting stubborn again and feeling like, uh, oh, I've got a grasp of the game now. This is how you should play it. You shouldn't do this. And then I, I kind of had to remind myself that don't get stubborn now yet again. Stay humble. Uh, don't get cemented into an opinion on the game. Always stay open-minded and look at multiple perspectives. Don't, don't get stubborn yet again uh, and think that Ruin is bad. It gets cleansed within 30 seconds. It's a gamble. Uh, this killer is bad. This killer is great. Um, what does the game favor? Is it survivors or killers? Uh, camping, does is that good? Is it bad? It's like, uh, you can't get too carried away in, that, in, in any game. Uh, this stubborn mindset. Uh, always stay open-minded, always stay humble to these games. It, it truly is how you improve and how you understand them. Uh, hard, hard as it may be, a lot of people get very stressed about Tekken. A lot of people get very stressed about Dead by Daylight. And that is, uh, again, something I want to cover in videos soon, just talking about the stress and the salt that a lot of people feel playing these games and how you can get around it, hard as it may be. But it's always about your own um, attitude. It's like, I don't know how many people tell me uh, playing Dead by Daylight, oh, I hate playing against Sweat Lords. Everyone is so sweaty. Oh God, it's so sweaty, I hate it. And people say that about Tekken as well, but that's like projection. It's like the, the reason you define other people as sweaty when you play is because you're sweaty. You want to win. You're entitled. You feel entitled to winning. And when people are really good outplaying you, you're like, ah, oh, fucking sweat lords. Don't take it so seriously. But why are you getting upset? It's because you're taking it seriously. And you're calling them sweat lords because you yourself, you are a sweat lord. Instead, what you should be thinking and saying is like, uh, wow, uh, this guy is looping me hard. I'm getting outplayed. This guy is not a sweat lord. He is, he's a really good player and he's taking this game really seriously. He wants to win. And so do I. And there's nothing wrong with that. Man, uh, how, how do I counter what he's doing right now? Yeah, uh, as soon as you get emotional and you dismiss people as sweat lords, you, you just close off your mind to learning. Uh, and it's... Uh, yeah, it will only hinder you. But, you know, that's, that's a lot of... Uh, people and not, I'm not uh, immune to that either I, I had a, like two weeks ago I I had a slump and I was starting to fall into that abyss abyss again the dark hole where I was you know getting a little bit more salty again and like uh, oh that guy is a sweat lord and it's like oh shit I felt bad for like two days but um, at least now my default mindset is so much more positive so that when I was starting to go back into old habits, my it's almost like my subconscious catches me and makes me, I, I start feeling bad, you know, like I'm rotting. It's like, oh, what is, what is going on? But then I realized that's oh, because you're starting to go back into a stubborn, bad, bad mindset. Sweat Lord, salt. 
And I immediately reevaluated what I was doing and could come back much fresher and clearer. Uh, this is now 15 minutes. It's longer than I wanted this video to be, but uh, it feels great to level with you guys. Uh, it's been a while. You can hear some of my thoughts. I'm enormously blessed to have 200,000 people want to listen to me talk about Tekken. And I hope at least 50,000 people are interested to hear my thoughts about Tekken and Dead by Daylight and maybe some movies. So thank you all so much for the support over the years and thanks for listening to me. It's very humbling. It always is. And I really hope you're all uh, doing great. And Jesus, you know, the, the pandemic and everything and how it seems to be over now. It's never going to be over, but hopefully uh, all of the lockdowns are over and uh, people can start getting back to remotely normal lives again. That's going to be nice. Uh, so thanks for listening to me, everyone. And uh, yeah, take care. See, see you soon on another video.